One of the outstanding highlights of our sale this season is the collection of Edgar Bronfman, ranging from great examples of Degas' work in both the pastel and sculpture in the tub to Picasso. Edgar Bronfman is, of course, best known as a visionary businessman, head of the Seagram Company, and later a dedicated philanthropist. The Picasso from 1965, which originally hung in Mr. Bronfman's living room, a nude female eating watermelon and a man writing. This work rightly belongs to the best of this late period where we see Picasso enjoying a tranquility and restfulness and really joy and delight that he hadn't in the rest of his career. These paintings are characterized by an optimistic disposition, a sunniness. Here it's an Arcadian atmosphere. It looks like a lazy and beautiful afternoon, but yet they encompass also and present the sexuality and interplay of figures that had become a hallmark of these later works. Picasso became increasingly interested in revisiting subjects of the old masters and presenting them in a new modern idiom. He also in this period used several subjects repeatedly as themes for his work. One was the artist and model, another was the luncheon on the grass. And here you see an example that clearly pertains to those tropes, but is slightly differentiated in terms of what the subjects are actually doing. The Picasso was the main feature of Mr. Bronfman's living room, where it hung above his desk and was in the company of many other great works in the collection, such as the Van Dongen Egyptian, a great Matisse from the Nice period, another great early Fauve Matisse from 1905, and a number of Rodin sculptures, the Degas tub, as well as other works of art.